Now this lovely, powdery, sweet smelling stuff is not compost, but leaf mold. And I always feel that leaf mold is one of the unsung heroes of the garden. We all make compost. We pretty much know how to do it and we celebrate the fact, but not enough people make leaf mold. For a start, it's really good if you add it to potting compost. And things like bulbs and containers love the loose root run it gives. It makes a very good mulch, particularly for woodland plants. It's a soil improver. It just makes everything grow better because it enables the roots to get down in there and reach in and find all the nutrients. And it's so easy to make, much easier than garden compost. All you have to do is just gather up your leaves and leave them for a year. And I tell you, that was growing on the trees 12 months ago. So obviously the start process is just to collect up leaves. The big mistake is to think of leaves as somehow as litter or waste. It's not, it's so, so valuable. And, and raking them up is dead easy, especially when they're dry like this. And there is something rather therapeutic about it too. And I'll tell you another little tip, is get two bits of wood, just rough bits of, of planking, and they make fantastic holders for leaves. Even if you've just got a few leaves, a small garden, and not much space, you can still make really good leaf mould in a bin bag. Just a normal black bag like that, and put the leaves in it. And then, when it's about a quarter full, soak them. Give them a real good wetting. Because the leaf mould will make much, much quicker if the leaves are wet. If you get them wet and keep them wet, that's when they rot down really quickly. Because the fungus loves those wet conditions. So, soak the bottom quarter, add some more leaves, Give it another really good soak and then about once a month check it and soak it again if need be. All the leaves should be moist and recognizably wet. Then when it's full and nice and wet just give it some drainage holes because you don't want the leaves to be sitting in a puddle you just want them to be moist. Now that will drain out Put it behind a shed, in a corner, and if you want to make leaf mould that you can use as part of your potting compost, it needs to be left for a full year and it's kept wet. On the other hand, if you want to use it as a mulch, and it makes a very good mulch around spring flowering perennials, for example, next March or April, you just take it out of the bag, the leaves will be half decomposed, spread them on the border, they work really well and then the worms will drag them into the soil and that will improve the quality of the soil as well as suppressing weeds. So that's it, that's all you have to do to make leaf mould.